Hello kids. Today we are going to learn about thoughts and feelings. What about these thoughts and feelings? How are we thinking about something and how are we feeling about something? Normally we have some emotions and feelings which we want to inform to others. So what we will do? Today we will speak about what we are thinking and feeling about the situation, about a person or about an object. So when does this arrive for us a situation where we want to see the situation, we want to observe the persons and also some objects will be given for you. So that objects you want to observe, you want to observe the persons according to situation, maybe anything, the situation may be anything maybe you are going to a party maybe you are uh, you want a thing to buy from a shop so such situations arises so when such situations arises what will we do so let us see some so you have a surprise birthday party how do you feel at that party how will be your emotions and your first day at school how do you feel so here we are discussing about our thoughts and feelings so how do we think and how do we feel first day in our school and you didn't score well in your marks so how do you feel at that time when you fell down while playing so will you be happy no we can't be happy when we fall down so how will you be what will be your emotion what will be your feeling at that time and when you were not able to go to school because you are ill so you are not able to go so how will you feel at that time is it sad or what type of feeling can you observe and you went on a trip with your parents with your friends or with someone so how will you enjoy in a trip so basing on this let us discuss so what we want to find at the time the things which we must remember at that what happened so, basing on the question what happened, we can answer this. So, what happened at the time actually? And who was there at the time along with you? What did you feel at the time? And why did you feel? So, basing on this, we can see some and we can write them. Now, here you get some words which we can use. So, panic. When you are panic, how will be your feeling? So children, you can enlarge the screen, whatever you can see it, so that you can uh, see the words clearly and properly. Since we are expressing our feelings, like I feel happy when I go to a trip, such sentences, if you want, you need the words. You have mixed up, unsure, stuck, hurt lost frozen so such words are there when you get panic so panic means suddenly if you see something and if you are there in a feeling of that that we say as panic so you will be in trouble you are feeling like uncomfortable and for happy you can see there many words are there you can say i am content i am joyful i am loving i am glad i am delighted so, when you are sad also, you have many words to express yourself. When you feel anger, you can say, I am annoyed when my friend hit me. I am certain when you are in a strong feeling. So, when you are very strong about your feeling, then you can use such words. And when you are in a determined, very creative way, healthy way, you are very energized. So, when such feelings are there, you can see some words which you can use. Now, basing on this topic, what we are discussing, using these words, which you can enlarge whenever you want to stop the video and you can enlarge this. Now, what type of sentences we are expecting? Now, you can see some words here and some sentences here. These can be referred if you want. Okay. So, I was delighted to see you at the party. So, there is a word like delighted here which you can use many words in the place of delighted. Delighted, we use it for happy. So, instead of delighted, you can use I feel glad, I feel pleased, I feel charmed, I feel loving. So, such words can be used because I gave you many words which you can refer. Now, if we move to the second one. 
she was upset because she fell while playing so the word like upset so these words show us our thoughts and feeling i feel nervous because i am going to a new school so here the word nervous shows our feeling in the same way for happiness many words for anger for fear we can use many words so children what is your duty today as our aim is to use our thoughts and feeling you want to use your thoughts and your feelings to explain something so whatever the cause it might be okay now let us see that when you open your volume 5.4 can you see the thoughts and feelings it is a picture on thoughts and feelings where you can see which of these feeling words can be used to show that a person is afraid so you got many words there so which words we use for afraid so check it and you want to tick the answer now describe a special event you remember to your friend and you want to add these details in your ex description so where did this event take place so try to remember any event so where that event has taken place and who was with you at that time what happened at that time and how did you feel at that time what is the reason so basing on this you want to write one one sentence here and also you want to read the situations and write at least two questions that you would ask your friend so you know the question words actually where about the place who about a person what that is about a cause or reason which you are asking there and the next one is how so how it happened even when shows the timing you are asking some timing so basing on that words which we have where is about a place as we discussed so you want to ask two questions for each so a and b two bits are there so two questions for each you want to ask and basing on that you want to complete your volume now let us move to our pqs from the textbook now can you see this thoughts and feelings so it is in 5.4 in your fifth block just open your fifth block now which of these feeling words can be used to show that a person is happy so when happy what words do we use so pre previously i gave such words so if you read such words or if you learn such words it will be easy for you to express your thoughts and feelings not only in the textbook but whenever you feel normally with your friends or with your family members also you can share that words now coming to your second question imagine that you met your cousin after a long time what would you thought and feel be so when you met them how will you be thinking so write some sentences basing on that now coming to your third question read these situations and write down at least two questions that you would ask your friend so previously we heard some words okay so some sentences so basing on that sentences you want to ask some questions so what type of questions you will be asking like what happened who was there at that time what did you feel and why so basing on this questions you can ask some questions for your third question and you can complete your pqs children try to complete them on the same day and send them through your whatsapp okay thank you very much